Are our schools prepared for a toxic chemical release? The Torrance and Valero Wilmington refineries use a large amount of toxic chemical called modified hydrofluoric acid. When MHF is released, it creates a ground-hugging toxic cloud that can drift for miles. This nearly happened February 18th, 2015, when the Torrance refinery exploded. A flammable hydrocarbon mixture was flowing through the air side of the FCC unit and moving toward the ESP with its multiple ignition sources. There, the flammable hydrocarbon mixture violently exploded. Four workers were injured, but at the time, ExxonMobil told residents there was no health danger to the community. But CBS News has learned it could have been much worse. We were really, really lucky. Vanessa Sutherland, the recently appointed head of the Chemical Safety Board, the federal agency charged with investigating the accident, calls it a near miss. I think it is of concern to us that we have a facility that had a near miss, which I actually feel very lucky about. It could have been much more catastrophic. This picture tells it all. Look at this. Catastrophic, she says, because when the explosion happened, a piece of equipment weighing 80,000 pounds was sent flying nearly 100 feet. Sources say this photo, submitted to federal investigators and obtained by CBS News, shows that piece landed just a few feet from a tank containing a form of hydrofluoric acid. It's a highly toxic chemical that, if released, can form a cloud of toxic gas that can drift for miles, potentially causing thousands of injuries and even deaths. HF, in our view and in my view, is one of the most hazardous and deadly chemicals. In worst case scenarios at deadly levels, it causes asphyxiation because once inhaled, it causes respiratory problems that build up fluid and you ultimately drown. Edison Elementary is a few blocks from the refinery, and my room is right next to the playground. So it was determined that if we had to shelter in place and the students were at recess or lunch, all 200 five to seven year olds would be ushered into my classroom. So the thought of getting all those children into my classroom before a cloud of MHF strikes is daunting. But that is only the first step, because then I have to prevent the gas from entering the classroom. So the plan calls for duct tape all around the doors, the windows, and the vents. Now, classrooms don't have ladders, and my ceiling is tall. Before, Edison is about four blocks away with the average wind speed uh, in Torrance. I calculated it's about four to seven minutes before the cloud would reach me. Now, in the news, we've seen teachers act heroically in the, fa in the face of gun violence over and over again. But a teacher can't save a life by tackling an MHF cloud. And all these plans for duct tape will not keep our children safe. 